We're rolling? Yes. All right. What's up? I'm Rick Martinez, filmmaker, action designer, visionary. They call me the wild child of Hollywood. And what they say, Rick? What? My movies are world-renowned pieces of action. Wheel Force, Gas Addict, Crash to Survive. And I'm here in Hawaii with my new Motorfest buds to shoot my next project, High Ride. Cars are everything in this movie. And you get to be my lead stunt driver. So get ready for some next level stuff because you're about to enter the Martyverse. See you on set, driver. This is Hollywood. Action! Hey, can you, can you move that camera to the right? No, a little bit more to the right. All right, we're behind schedule, people. Let's move it. Let's move it. Hey, you. You're finally here. Welcome to set. Hey, listen, no time for chit-chat. We're starting to shoot right now. And you're my main driver. You know that, right? Can someone bring the drivers to their cars, please? Thank you. So, basically, you're Terry Jones, the main character. And this first scene puts the viewer right in the middle of your busy everyday life. I want you to get in your car. I'm going to give you directions as we go. They say you drive like freaking baby driver. That better be true, my friend. Listen, the festival car consultant is on her way. She's going to catch up with us. The craft does not wait. Come on, everyone. We're doing this. This is High Ride, scene one, action. So let's get one thing straight. Sure, your job here may be driving, but you still need to get into character. I want you to feel the scene, you hear me, champ? Remember, your name's Terry Jones. You're a small-time thief, you just robbed a pawn shop, and you've got a bunch of goons on your tail. Get yourself out of this mess and drive like you mean it. This is really happening to you. That lane on the road is called the video lane. That's where we need you to drive to get the best shots. Every time you see one of those, you follow it. Don't think twice. You got this. This is your character's everyday life. You're used to that stuff. Get on that lane right there. It's critical for the shot. Oh yeah, this will look great on camera. Sorry I'm late. How's it going? Hey there. Welcome to my set. Terry, this is our car consultant and mechanic, Miss Sakana. Yeah, call me Kai, man. Hi, driver. How have you been since our little vintage garage experience? You did the playlist right. For this first scene, we got you an Austin Mini Cooper S. Maneuverable and lovely. This car is such a fun ride. Fun ride before the high ride.
comes the first big stunt, you're gonna lose these guys with this next move, Terry. I see what you're thinking. Okay, driver, better gun it if you wanna make this work. Nice! With that move, Terry's out of the woods. Just a few more seconds, and it's in the can. Cut! Looks like we got ourselves a driver, and a freaking hell of an intro. Great start, Terry Jones. Let's go. All right, buddy. You've made quite the impression on these first shots, but we're gonna need to confirm it wasn't just a fluke. With this second scene, the plot is thickening. You got scouted by the local kingpin. Goes by the name of Big Johnny. He's got a job for you, and you're not gonna wanna pass on this one, all right? The man asks you to show up at his country house to seal a deal. But first, he wants you to show him what you're worth with a little duel in the dirt. This is our turning point for our protagonist. His future will be decided today. We gotta feel this, you know what I mean? All right, we're going back, everyone. Driver, you get back in the Terry's shoes and you make my day. We got you the right set of wheels for the job. I ride. Team two, action. So again, in this scene, things get real for Terry. You're facing Big Johnny's number one guy, Mikey the Maniac. The big boss is putting you to the test, and you don't want to miss out on this opportunity. You gotta beat that guy. This is exciting. I know, this is brilliant. I'm going for the long take here, my friend, so I want your focus all the way. The guy in the black car knows how to drive, and I told him to go all out. I want this to feel real, so go for it. You got your own directing style, don't you? Long shots, real feel, real pain, that's how Oscars are won. Okay, Leo. Well, driver, if you want to please our friend Rick Scorsese here and make that scene look awesome, you gotta use that Dodge right. That's right. This is a Dodge Challenger RT first generation from 1970. This car is a monster among oldies and it ain't afraid of anything. The RT actually stands for road and track, so don't worry, it won't let you down. I do dig the nerdy car stuff, but what matters is it's badass. That's why I picked it. You mean why I picked it? Whatever. Watch that next turn. Your car may be versatile, but you still have to adapt your driving on dirt roads if you don't want to end up in a ditch. The ditch is not an option. between Terry and Mikey the Maniac, and the chance for Terry to reach new heights. Give me everything, and don't be scared of playing dirty. It's a brawl. Massive cameras floating around, these are for extra wide angle. On a Rick Martinez set, you go big or you go home. I 
was looking you up online. It says your actual name is Clarence Baker. Wanna catch us up on this, Clarence? This is not... I mean, don't believe everything you read on the internet. Jeez. It also says you're actually from Chattanooga. Really? Oh, come on! Terry, you're skilled and determined to nail this test. The job is yours for the taking. Seize it. And cut. That was fun. That's what I call a wonder. Mikey the Maniac is gonna be so pissed. I hope you can handle a bike, because in our next scene, that's all you're gonna get. This is your first job for Big John, and you don't want to mess it up, okay? You're driving a dirt bike, some guys with massive trucks are chasing you. It's David versus Goliath all over again. I want to feel the stakes, and I want to feel that Terry plays that bike like I play the violin. I, uh, like he plays the violin. That's not the saying, Rick. Well, what's the saying, then? Never mind. You get on that bike, driver, and you give me a two-wheeled concerto that'll make Steve McQueen look like a little girl on a tricycle. What do you mean I can't say that? Screw this. This is High Ride, scene three. Let's go! We're back at it. So again, this is your first gig for Big John. You just snatched a handful of stones from some cockney bookmakers, all right? These guys are pissed, and they're coming after you. Yeah, you better get used to it. It'll happen a lot in this movie. East London is in Hawaii. Really? These guys got a business here, and I like the way they talk. The early supposed to blow the bloody doors off. Anyway, they're chasing you with their trucks, so you gotta move fast and use the size of that bike to your advantage. You cannot get caught. You hear me, Terry? These guys aren't here to take you for tea, yeah? Run away, Terry. this escape is to use two different bikes. An agile one to lose the Brits in the narrow streets, then a fast one to get out of reach for good. Onto the roof, then take flight. So, you got a, a sort of a Japanese motocross and a, uh, dang, Okay, Ratchet, you're up. Yeah, looks like you're struggling here. So, Driver, you start with a good old Yamaha YZ450F, which would get you through anything. Before a switching to something more powerful. I'll tell you more about that one when you get there. moment Terry believes he's lost them, but he's wrong. They'll be back. Yep, here they are. You're doing all right. Now remember, you gotta hold on until you get to that second bike, which will get you out of the city. There you go. Now ditch these halfwits for good. You're now riding a Ducati Panigale. You want its speed to be felt on screen, so push it as hard as you can. 
You're going down the rabbit hole. She's totally right. And don't forget to get on the video lane as much as you can. The script says that you're jumping off the highway soon. Keep your bike steady and watch your landing. Yeah, you gotta nail that stunt. Nailed it. That's right. Love that. It's going to look phenomenal. Critical shot ahead. Don't miss the lane. Lean your bike into the turns and let her rip on the straights. Back on the highway. At this point, Terry knows he's won. Big Joe's going to be very happy. If I was Terry, I'd just take off with the bike and the loot. Things are a little more complex than that, sweetie. You're as handy with a bike as you are with a car driver. Oh, hey! My driver's back. How's it going, champ? You're doing a great job so far. But don't get cocky. The secret to being a long-lasting celebrity like myself is diligence, modesty, and dedication. Not taking your current success for granted. That's the key, friend. Now get in that beautiful sports car a gifted mechanic has prepared for you. You're paying your friend Keanu a visit up in the hills. We're shooting a sweet Hawaiian ride there, all right? Everything's working out for your character, Terry. New job, new cars, new social status, even met a girl. I want to feel all of that in this scene, all right? This is Terry at his peak, and he's showing off about it. He's like, na 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 You know what I'm saying? Great. You go and give me that swag. This is high ride, scene four, action. Back in action, my friend. Except this time, we're going for a chill, feel-good kind of scene that shows Terry's rise and success at this point of the movie. The cameras are rolling, and all you need to do is to follow the scripted instructions and reach the destination, your friend Keanu's house. You've done this before in the vintage playlist, remember? You've got this. Right now, your character, Terry, is walking on clouds. He's got that new job, first gigs went great, and he feels like the coolest son of a gun on this island. Johnny got you that amazing new car, and money won't be an issue anymore. A Ferrari 308 GDS? Big Joe's clearly not messing with you. Yeah, that's it. It's, it's one of them Ferraris. Couldn't recall. Man, how come you specialize in car action movies? No jack about cars. I'm all about the art.
All right, Terry, now keep driving. What, what the? You call this a cappuccino? I can't believe it. And just like that, he's gone. Looks like coffee takes priority over his passion for the seventh art. So, it's just the two of us now. Not gonna complain. The man is loud. about that Ferrari through your GDS. It was one of my first choices when they asked me to pick cars for this movie. Among Ferraris, this one and the Daytona are my personal favorite. Same designer, different purposes. got to do everything yourself okay i'm back don't worry guys i have everything under control yeah right straight. That's it. Exactly the way I envisioned it. Just a few more shots. You got to strut, Terry. This is your rise. You're glowing. It's like the kid has finally become a grown man with a big-ass mustache. Pun intended. What? Never mind. Sorry, Martinez. You lost your privileges on this one. So, this next scene is what I call a breather. It's a nice, fun action scene that's disconnected from the main intrigue. Allows the viewer to cool down before what's coming after. 
after Terry gets to his friend Keanu's place, and the dude's actually just about to go for some off-road fun with a bunch of pals, all right? <laughs> so you're not just gonna sit, sit and watch, are you? Hmm? Your friend has a buggy ready for you, so you, you get your butt in that thing, and you prepare for the race, okay? If you're good enough to work for Big Joe, you can take on a bunch of old country boys, am I right? This is High Frickin' Ride, scene five. Let's rumble, action! I want to see some dudes having fun. That's the whole point of this scene. We're taking a short break from the main plot to enjoy a good old low stakes action moment. It's like that volleyball scene in Top Gun. Well, I remember that one. You're racing your friends, enjoying the countryside and goofing around. I want to feel all of that, as well as Terry's driving skills, so beat these guys and make me proud. Yeah, but watch it. That path is going to be quite the roller coaster, with some serious downhill sections and jumps. Speaking of which, race for the jump. Oh, yeah, that's it. Unbelievable. You're a terminal crazy. That scene's gonna be another killer. Keep your cool, director. The scene ain't over. Right, 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 right. The mechanic has a point. Driver, stay in character. These pictures look phenomenal. That vehicle's a beast. Any technical word from our sassy car expert, maybe? He got it. So, driver, as you noticed, we decided to go wild and bold for this scene with the Aerial Nomad buggy. The Nomad will serve two purposes here. First, it should get you through these hills and rivers without too much difficulty. And second, it has that edgy weather look our director was looking for. Absolutely. I wanted the aesthetics of this scene to be kind of a tribute to those mad post-apocalyptic movies. because these guys don't give a damn. the beach, the last section of this race. Give me everything. Almost there. Wait for it. Boom! Exactly what I was looking for here. What a lovely day. It's still rolling. You didn't say cut. Let's go. What on earth is that thing doing there? It should be on the fake road. Jeez. Hey. Okay, this one is, is one of the key scenes, my friend. We're, we're going for one of the major action moments of the movie. We built a whole set just for this. We gotta make it look good. And there's more. Come here. You see the production, people are kinda all over me. Something about blowing budgets and, <laughs> you know, missing deadlines, that kind of crap. But hey, what can I say? I'm an overachiever. They should know that by now. We're gonna need to nail this scene in three takes tops. Otherwise, it's gonna get cut, and if it gets cut, I'm pissed, you know? Your driving mastery is needed more than ever. Get on that set, work your magic. This is high ride, D. Are you kidding me? I can't believe, I, I said it's supposed, I can't believe it! So you know the drill. This is our big money shot right now. 
three takes, three different stun configurations. I want you to go bold and try different approaches. I got you the best possible car again for the scene, am I right? That's correct. We got you a 67 Shelby GT500, also named Shelby Cobra. A two-door coupe based on the Ford Mustang Fastback. With that car, Terry will be gone in less than a minute. All right, let's focus. Here comes the money shot. your breath you're gonna lap around while we rearrange the props take two How do you feel behind the wheel of this beauty? She's the first model of the Shelby GT500 lineup. Its lines, exemplary road holding, great performance, and the sound of its engine still make people go crazy. Sorry to interrupt, but we're getting back to it. Punch it. I want that car to fly. I want that car to break things. Third take. Let's make this happen, people. Come on, third try, give it everything. Don't worry about the car. Whoa, 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 you're gonna chill out now. Ruining the car isn't part of the deal. I don't care. Man, anything happens to that car and I'll make your life a nightmare. Okay. That's it, you're going in one last time. Successful heist. Terry's on a roll and so am I. Okay, I'll take that car back now. Let's go. Terry, 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 you <laughs> Ah, you're here. Fantastic. Listen, I told you earlier that Terry, aka you, met a girl, right? Her name's Jessie. And in this next part of the film, you two have a date. Listen, the, the scene we're about to shoot is all about capturing that light mood right before date night. Okay, you're driving towards the rendezvous point. You're feeling great and in control. It's... Really? Seriously? Yeah, you, you're feeling confident. Tonight's your night. And, oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> kind of an important thing. Ah, uh, Jesse's Big Johnny's daughter. I know, right? Harry's a sucker for trouble. <laughs> Get back into character, my friend. You're going for a love ride. High ride. Scene seven. 
Hey, what do the French say? Saturn. Saturn. Player, we're going for another chill driving scene. Follow the instructions and reach the rendezvous point. No rush here, it's all about enjoying the ride. Don't worry, I'll guide you. So let me pitch you the mood again. It's a warm and quiet evening. You got some nice music on the radio and your date's waiting for you at the drive-in. There's romance in the air and you feel the wind of infinite possibilities on your face. That girl Jessie's the one. It doesn't matter that she's Big Joe's daughter. All he has to do is keep it low profile. And even if Big J were to find out, so what? Terry feels confident he could get him to understand. He's his new top dog after all. Okay, I think I know where this is going. lovely evening, Terry decided to pull out the big guns with a car that says, I'm classy and I know my stuff. That's where this beauty comes in, a Porsche 550 Spider red interior from 1955. Pretty much the same as James Dean's. A true collector's piece. That Jessie's one lucky girl. Too bad her dad's a psycho. You have no idea. It. I want to feel Terry's confidence and peace of mind in your driving. Tonight's your night. You guys are going to watch a movie, get some food. Speaking of dinner, I make a killer jambalaya. Hey, Kai, I was wondering if... Uh... Nope. Okay. Man, that's a beautiful shot. I can definitely feel the love tonight. before the coffee house. Hey, that car, is it? Maybe. Subtle, unpressed. Don't miss that next turn on the right. There you 
are. All set for a nice evening under the stars. said romance is dead. Hey, I'll be in my trailer refocusing. Hold on a sec. This doesn't make any sense. What did I... All right, that's it. You know what? I'm going to make a few last-minute changes to the script, guys. What? Tell Kai I'm going to need a boat and a plane. Man, hey, driver, I'll again. tell you what's what. You and Jesse got caught, and Big J won't have any of it. Long story short, he wants you in a box, and his whole gang is after you, but... Your friend Keanu thought this through and came up with a three-vehicle escape plan. You're leaving this island with your girl and her dad's money. This is the high point. You gotta drive to survive. Everyone, this is High Ride Final Scene! Boom. shooting the final action sequence of the film, The Big Ride. I need you to be Terry one more time, and I'm aiming for no less than mind-blowing pictures. So I hope you're ready to go above and beyond. Where's my coffee? Can you try decaf? So, too bad for Terry and Jesse. Mikey the Maniac spotted them during their little night out and totally snitched. Total butt water. Long story short, the boss man's losing his shit. All his goons are after you, and your only chance is to stick to Keanu's plan. The three-vehicle grand escape, remember? is fast and allows for some sharp turns. No second thoughts. to be. Now time to catch your plane. Even in the sky, you still got pursuers, and they're pressuring you from the right. You won't lose them over the sea. You gotta fly back inland. performance a director can hope for. This is Terry's final trial. I hope you like this last scene's vehicle lineup, driver. An Aston Martin, a DC BM31, and a Supermarine Spitfire. Spies ain't got nothing on you. And Hamilton's got nothing on me. I got hidden cameras shooting this from all angles. This scene's gonna shake the whole of planet Hollywood.
That's it. Now we're heading toward the canyon. Careful, it's windy. Some turbulence is to be expected. Right there, that's the canyon. This is where you lose them. These guys couldn't keep up with you. Terry and Jesse are cruising into the sunset, free from Big Joe's clutches. I can already envision the sequel. Big J plotting his revenge from the shadows. You don't lose time, do you? And that's a wrap! Rick freaking Martinez. I still got it. Well, you're not half bad, Martinez. I give you that. I always leave these things. There we go. What are you doing here? Filming's over, buddy. I mean, you did a freaking good job. I and mean, then now it's time for me. I, I, I mean, I mean for us to get on the red carpet and bask in the praise. You know, fame, money, fancy cocktail parties. Life, right? This is it. Big premiere night tonight. Press, the whole cast's gonna be there. I want you by my side, all right? So go and get ready. Guy got you a special car. This is my moment. You cannot be late. What? Yeah, okay, our moment, whatever. Once you start, get out of here. Got this, Rick. The night, you're the man. Na, 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 na. Hey, driver, do you copy? You did a crazy good job on that set. Now come join us downtown. We got you the perfect car to make an entrance. Hang on, what, what is it, Rick? Is my driver on the line? Great. Hey, champ, you gotta move. The movie's about to be unveiled. We're already here with the whole cast. You're the only one missing. Get here, and get here fast. My triumph can't be complete without my star driver. Rick, I told you, man. You gotta chill out. Anyways, where were we? Yes, that car you're driving will unquestionably get you there on time. It's one of the latest Motorfest creation. Yeah, champ. Limos are for old geezers, so we got you the best car you could ask for tonight. You're doing this Tony Stark style. Yes, that's kind of the idea. driver about that car it hey kai come with us they're taking pictures i want my crew around me oh be right back should see high ride posters everywhere crazy opening night just for me in your face by a magazine who's a has-been now
believe we see you in the distance. Smile, there will be thousands of eyes on you. Come on, make a proper entrance, a la Terry Jones. Our star driver has arrived. That ceremony's gonna be great, man. One big slap in the face. Welcome to show business, driver. Notorious Terry Jones. Kids in the street call you the fastest wheels in town. Show me. You tell me about that new job of yours. And tell me about that girl. So, you're my dad's new guy. What do you do? Chauffeur him around? Not exactly. You really think everything's just gonna go your way? If my dad finds out about us, we're both dead. I'm gonna need a car. Reality's always one step away, brother. Bring me Terry Jones! Who taught you to drive like that? My grandmother. She has a bit of a temper.